Hey you guys, this is Stacia. Um, we're gonna do some Mate and Twos together real quick. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This one is black to move. And let's see if we can checkmate that white king. Expect that we can. <laughs> um, this is definitely appealing. So after check, um, that looks like a mate, but they can block with the queen. And then we probably have this move, g5. And I do believe that is checkmate. So let's try it. Yeah, the queen is pinned, so there's no queen takes g5. Alrighty. Number two. King to f3, and it's black to move and checkmate. So certainly um, queen takes f2 comes to mind. And then after king to e4. I think there's queen of five. But then there's king d4. So it doesn't seem quite right. So after check here, I thought here, but then am I crazy or is there that move? So that doesn't seem quite right, but um, maybe there's something else. I mean, we could always check here first. That is possible. If he goes here, check. Then there's that. It's not mating two. So I don't think it's that. I mean, this looks so good. I mean, I would play this in a game like <laughs> without too much thought. So after king e4, what is the move? We've got to stop them from from running out to d4. So how do we do that? d4 and d3. Oh, it's probably this move, right? Queen takes e3. Yeah, I kind of missed that. We're undermining that pawn. So after this move, we can just take now, is that checkmate or what? Yeah, that's checkmate. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Let's do the next one. This is number three. Um, I think number three. So here we have discoveries on the king. And, well, this one looks kind of obvious to me. I think we just go check. And he has to go here. And then we just guarded that square. And that looks like me. That looks good. So why can't we do this one? Um, because on that one, there's this move check and then they take the knight. So it's this one. Now the knight guards d7. Okay, next one. Number four, I believe. Um, bishop to b3. I actually think it's rook takes a2 because check. That would be mate, so they have to take, right? And then queen b2. That sure looks like a mate to me. Okay, and number five. Hmm. So we've got some interesting moves. I don't see the mate yet. Check. Here. Hmm. 
I don't think that's it. So maybe it's check. That would be mate, so they have to take. Ooh, this is it. Because then takes and the bishop is guarding g7. Right? So. Number six. Um, okay, the knight's attacked. But apparently we have mean two. <laughs> so, um. How do we do mean two here? It's tempting to play like check or something, but there's a regarding there. If check um, here, that would be mate. But they could take it. Okay, so if they take. Can we get mate now or no? Doesn't really seem like it to me. Because after, yeah, and that's that's guarded by pawn. Never mind. It's not going to work. So what is it then? Um, there's definitely queen e7. They could take the the knight. Queen e7 check. They take. Do we have a mate there? I don't really see one, so I don't think that's it. Huh, I wonder what it is. Here's this one. Takes, oh, it's that one. Queen a5. That's a dovetail mate. Yeah. And they can't get out of it either. Okay. Yeah, this is why I'm doing these. I feel like I don't see these patterns quite fast enough, which probably means I haven't done enough of these. Um, okay, so bishop g5. Uh, queen f5 looks so good. I play that really quick in a blitz game. <laughs> queen f5 takes. I mean, um, is there a mate there? I think there might be g3 mate because because it is mate. <laughs> so that looks pretty good. And they can't do anything else either, right? Oh, actually they can. They can go here. And then if they do that, Actually, if they do that, how do I checkmate them? That's a good question. Actually, maybe we do this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see this one. That looks quite nice. So after this one, they go king h6. Now we need a mate, though. Yeah, it's probably knight f5 is mate. Okay, white to move. I want to play bishop f7 mate. So how do I do it? I probably, um, well, if we take here, they take with the queen, and then when we check, they go here. So I don't think it's that one. It's probably this one. Check. They take, and then that's checkmate. This one we have discoveries. So which which square do we want to cover with our bishop? That's the question. So if we go here, check. They go here. And then I don't see a mate necessarily. But if we go check and they go here, do we have a mate? Where's the mate? How do we get a checkmate? Because after bishop g7, they're still king g8. So it's not that. Um, I 
feel like this is going to be some familiar pattern, but what? What is it? You know what I want to do is go here, but there's still this too. Um, I mean, check here. What we really need to play is that, and that would be checkmate. So how do we do that? Can I go check here and then meet? I think so. Ooh, that's cool. I like this one. So we just want to get the bishop to f6. We want to cover that square in the meantime. Wow. Okay. I like that one a lot. Um, okay, this one. Let's see. Black to move. Um, check there. It's probably this move because they're basically mated. They can push the pawn and then we go here. So that looks like mate. Okay, next one. I don't know what number on, we're on anymore. <laughs> I also don't care. Um, so this one, the pawn is pinned. So clearly we're going to do something like that. Check here. And then we need a mate. And that should do it. Next one is check there. So I was definitely looking at this and if the queen blocks, we can play check, but then I feel like the king comes to c7. So it's not me. So what do we do instead? There's this check too. Now this one looks better because if the queen blocks, we have mate. And also the knight can't block this one. The knight could block that one too. So after check, they could play here, I guess. Then we just go, now we go queen a8 and that would be checkmate. So this is good. Okay, another one, um, black to move. We've got control of H1, so that looks pretty good. But, hmm. How to use it is a question. It's probably just knight e2 because on knight e2 they are basically mated and if they take us which they kind of have to then we get our checkmate notice that the rook is guarding f2 so we don't have to worry about that square so this is correct okay and we'll do one last one i'll say or how about two more let's do two more why not all right so block to move here um So, of course, this check looks really nice, but then king a2, and we need some way to check me, and I'm not sure how. So, actually, there's this check over here, and that also hits a4. So that's looking pretty good. So after check, they just go here and then we get queen takes a4, right? <laughs> Seems like he gets out, so that's not right. So after check and here, where's our mate? It's probably bishop takes. Yeah, and then we maintain control of that square. Okay. Okay, this is our last one. Let's hope it's a good one. Um, 
our rooks attacked. I can see that. Hmm. So there's bishop b3 check. It's definitely a move. Um, if they go here, we have rook a1 mate. And that's the only move. So that's pretty nice. So, okay. Um, I feel like we did a bunch of mate and twos. So I hope you enjoyed these. Let me know if you do. Um, it's good training for me. So I feel like I should just take you guys along with me as I train and improve at these. Um, my goal is to do a thousand of, or wait, 500 of them, but really I'm probably gonna do a thousand. And I think now I'm at something like 190. So I'm gonna keep doing tons of them just to get more patterns into my brain. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.